all doing well and having a good Saturday. So today we are moving on to doing the flowers and it's quite exciting because it means we're moving up into the second part of the stitch chart. We're going into the upper section. Um, we're actually going to be doing the bottom flower which means we're over two um, of the patterns. But the good thing about these leaves, they're quite simple in the sense that it's two colours. Um, so we've got a lovely dark blue for the outside in 926 for the petals and then the inside the center is going to be um french knot in 693 which i haven't got the wool out yet but i'm pretty sure that's a mustardy yellow type of color so it's actually a, a lighter lemon yellow would we call this so these are the two colors and that's what they're going to look like together they're gorgeous colors especially when you put them next to each other so we're going to get started on the petals first and it's a long and short shading stitch again um, but just in one colour. So I'm just going to put in my seeding stitch, keeping the knot to the top and it keeps the back of our work nice and neat. I'm looking forward to seeing the back of it afterwards. So we're going to come start on this petal mm -hmm. and we're going to we're going to go to the tip of the flower. We're going to do short and then a long stitch there. And like always, I'm just going to have a look and then where there's a gap like there is in here, that could be denser. Just go and put one in on top, like that. Feels funny doing a long and short, st st long and short shading when it's the outline is quite different. Like it's got this first side of the flower petal done so we'll go to the other side and then I might come in and try and neaten this up it's a bit wonky so we'll do this side and see how it looks so Alison McCree Spencer she has left a lovely comment saying that the rabbit video we did was it last Friday it went up um, that when we did the speckled part on the back of the rabbit, she was really pleased to see that because she'd forgotten that bit. And it really does make just a lovely difference. It's just a nice little touch to give the rabbit a little bit more character. So I'm glad that that helped you. <laughs> so I'm just coming back up because I can see that there's just a few gaps. Just to kind of... help give it a denser look to it. So that's the first layer. I'm going to bring this thread up here and then we'll start again doing the second layer coming back down. Actually I'm just going to cut off these two knots because I always find that they get in my way and I get confused. So we're going to come up, I want to say in the second colour, but it's in the same colour, to do our second layer of stitching. So we're just going to come down like we normally do in the long and short. It's a bit like how we do the rabbits, where it's in the same colour for the two bits, but it just gives it a nice denseness to it. I've gone the opposite way this time. I don't think it matters whether you go left first or right first. It's odd that I've gone the opposite way. So we fill, I'll do one more just in this bit here. Mm. 
the shot coming back up and down and I'm just making trying to follow the pat the angle of the first layer of stitches. seeding stitch just in here then bring the thread up here to be cut off actually there's enough there that I might start the next leaf with it so I'm gonna go away this weekend and I'm gonna finish off doing these flowers ready for us to start again on Monday where we've got some of the lovely leaves and some more of the flowers to get started on um, just with finishing off these flowers, I will say again that the centre of our flowers, that's going to be in the French knot in that lovely yellow. Um, so I will share with you how I get on with that as well on Monday. So have a good weekend stitching. Mm -hmm.